this is the patient of uh, kidney failure yeah. and uh, and she has you could you first give your introduction from where you are coming oh uh, i live in the united states in uh, lake tahoe california in the mountains uh, i come every year to nepal uh, for some social work activities uh, four or five years ago i suffered from uh, increasing pain in my knees and was diagnosed with uh, uh, osteoarthritis and I was suggested to have a full knee replacement on both knees which I didn't want to do so I have been struggling for years now with increasingly painful knees and luckily a friend of mine from Nepal had met Dr. Uh, Raghavan and uh, so I decided to come and uh, I arrived yesterday evening by a bus and so here I am with Dr. Raghavan who is giving me new hope. So that sounds great. No, I, I, I want to tell you, you have seen this patient yes. of kidney failure. Yeah. I have seen. And means you, you have seen that uh, after kidney failure, she has approached many hospitals. Those corporate hospitals like uh, CMC Bello. Right. They are gone. And every doctor always told her that she will not be cured. She will not be, she will need dialysis, she will need time transplant, there is no hope of anything else. Yeah. But after one month of treatment, you are meeting this, per, this person, yeah. you, you can see her report. And what uh, message you want to, to give to Americans, those who are suffering due to kidney failure? Well, I, I am myself not suffering, luckily, from kidney failure. And if I would know anybody in the U.S. who has kidney failure, I would say take a flight and come here to uh, Patna and get yourself a whole different way of looking at health and healing rather than undergoing an increasingly devastating uh, uh, treatment of uh, dialysis. And trust me. Yeah. And so you can do it here and maybe in America, in America some cases too, but it's not encouraged by the pharmaceutical companies to do anything outside of what, doc, what doctors yeah, are what, giving. What suggestion you would like to give the American government about their people? What American governments are doing is they are actually torturing the common man yes. for the sake of benefit of someone, corporate or some capitalist. Absolutely. Yes. The, then for the, for the welfare of the society, what American government should do? You just <laughs> well, the American government should uh, really listen to uh, their good doctors because they had an Hippocratic oath to heal the sick and not to uh, make the companies who are the pharmaceutical companies to make those richer. Uh, so I I really hope that the American government is going to look at an increasingly catastrophe in the United States of health issues where diabetes, heart issues, cancer, now Alzheimer's and dementia are just increasingly rapidly, kidney failures, our food is, is, is destroyed by pesticides, our soil is depleted from nutrition, and we are having Monsanto, which is even making situations worse. So I hope that there will be coming a time when the people, because the people are making it, that the people wake up and insist to their governments to please make it as it was, as our father, grandfathers and great-grandfathers were eating, they were eating healthy foods. That is what we need, a healthy society, in mind, in spirit, and in body. And that can be reached right now. Can you tell, tell the public that how can they reach you? Me? <laughs> reach you for suggestion, so that you are also a social worker. I yes. want to means uh, from India and from America everywhere. How mm -hmm. can they approach you? You just uh, tell well. Me. I think for me the easiest, but not by phone. That would not be possible as I am in different places. Uh, I have an email address. Email address. You can tell possibly. email ID. Yeah, that is uh, my uh, email address. Is small letters E C Jacobs at hotmail dot com. Again, E. C. Jacobs at hotmail.com